If your Android phone is not receiving calls, you may find yourself in the middle of nowhere when it comes to contacting friends and family. A few immediate reasons behind this is like no network coverage, an active do not disturb feature, blocked phone numbers and maybe a malware issue. However, if none of the issue is there, then let's try to have some fixes now. All right, let's start with number one. So you have to enable and disable the airplane mode. Double check if airplane mode is negligently enabled on your Android device. If it is not inactive, enable the flight mode, wait for a few seconds and then disable it. Next, you have to delete cache data. For that, go to settings, apps and notifications, click on app info or see all apps, browse the list and tap on phone. Hit the storage and cache option and clear the cache icon. Now next is you have to check your SIM card. If your Android device's SIM card is not installed correctly, you might not be able to make or receive calls on it. You can remove the SIM card and make sure it is inserted as promoted over the SIM tray by the device's manufacturer. Whatever the case, you should take out and reinsert the SIM card to see whether you can make phone calls or not. Next, you have to try to reactivate the SIM card. For that, go to Android settings and then Wi-Fi network option. Go to the SIM and network option. Select the SIM card you're facing a problem with. To disable the SIM, toggle on the button and tap OK from the pop-up saying deactivate the SIM card. Now toggle the SIM card back on again from the same SIM configuration page to reactivate it. Next is a very obvious thing that you have to restart your phone because if none of the above problem is fixing your solution, then restarting the phone can actually fix many issues. Next, you have to check for malware also because sometimes malware hits Android phones. So detect and take careful steps to remove the malicious apps from your phone and install them immediately. Last is to contact the manufacturer or the carrier because if everything fails, the issue might be due to hardware damage. Find out if it's worth repairing or how to get a replacement. If you can, bring your phone to a local store so that the tech can conduct some troubleshooting also. So that's it for today guys. We hope that you receive phones on your Android phone ASAP and contact your present family. And yes, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like these.